OK, in this video we're going to have a look at converting numbers from standard form into a format that we would easily recognise and be able to comprehend. We've got here 2.76 times 10 to the power 4 and I want to see what number that is that we recognise. So, I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, write down 2.76. Now, we're going to move this decimal place four places. We're going to go one, two, three, four places that way. And that's where the decimal would live. We're going to fill these gaps with zeros now because we don't like gaps in numbers like this. And then let's just tidy this up, let's rewrite this number so it's a lot neater. So we've got 276, 00, and we don't need the decimal point on the end. So this number here, 2.76 times 10 to the 4, is actually 27,600. Let's have a look at another one. So I've got here 3.98 times 10 to the minus 7. So the minus sign is going to tell us that the decimal place is going the other way. OK, let's have a look at how we do this. So, 3.98. Starting the same way, write down the number that's in front of the time sign. Now, I'm going to go seven jumps, but I'm going to go the opposite way to the way I did before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's where the decimal place is going to live. Decimal point, sorry. And we're going to fill all these gaps with zeros. So one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. Now, I don't see numbers normally like this, so I'm going to put a number naught on the front so it's naught point something. So the number that we got here is naught point naught 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 three nine eight. Now I'm going to show you a little tip here, because that can get quite messy, we want an easier way of doing that. So, let's look at our original one. We had 2.76 times 10 to the 4. Now, the easiest way to remember this is how, where does the decimal point go in? Well, it's four numbers behind the 2. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, it's going there. So we need a couple of zeros in after that 7, 6. Let's just show you that, just to make sure it's clear. So we've got 2, 7, 6, and I need it after 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4, that's where the decimal point would be. So that's how we get the number. Let's have a look at this negative one now, because this one's actually easier to see. We've got minus 7 on it, so we know it's going to be 0 point something. Now, the 7 tells us exactly how many zeros need to go in front of the number. Look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, but we've just got to remember to put the decimal point in between the first two. And that's how we do these dead straightforward. If you have a look at the bottom here now, I've got two quick questions. I want you to pause the video now, have a go, and I'm going to come back and show you the answer in two seconds. OK, here's our answers. The first one we should have got 453,000. Let's just check using the previous method I showed you. We've got the four and then five numbers behind it. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Second one, we should have got 0.001482. Now it's negative, so that tells us how many zeros need to be in front. One, two, three. Decimal point there. And done. So that's how we convert numbers from standard form into normal numbers.